All right, ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin here. So this may begin a series of me showing you how to convert a 800 megahertz max track, which seemed to be ridiculously more available than a 900 megahertz one. Now, some of you might ask, why do I want to do this? Um, because you learn a lot, really, and fooling with these damn radios and all this. I have learned a significant about how radios work, um, how companies do things, and has definitely allowed me to gain a significant better understanding of how, of how radios work. And uh, I, I get a lot more enjoyment out of the hobby. You know, I mean, yeah, I can just talk on that thing there, that little HT, but, you know, I'm obviously the inquisitive type and I like to know how to do things. So, this board right here is the upside down of an 800 megahertz max track board. So these 800 megahertz max tracks, they look like this thing right here. Well, some do anyway. This is a 35 watt version. Um, in a previous video, I showed how to um, modify it and do different things, such as just add more channels and stuff like that. So, but anyway, so the top of the board looks like that, and under the cover is the VCO, the PLL circuit, and, and things like that. So there are some articles out there that show how to do that, and it is it is uh, difficult to say the least, just especially if you really don't know what you're doing. Um, but uh, part of the conversion article showed that you had to modify the actual VCO unit itself in order to get, in order for the VCO to generate the needed frequency to transmit. So um, there are some articles out there that show how to successfully modify an 800 megahertz radio to receive good and well uh, as an originally factory made radio on 900. Well, I just figured out how to get one to transmit. So, uh, at least the beginning stages anyway. So, this is the bottom of the board. And for this testing, because this board is going to be hacked and uh, some other things done to it, is I removed some parts. But the first things first is a transistor had to get removed because on, on this 800 megahertz board there's a transistor, it's Q205 oh by the way, if you're going to do this full of stuff, you need to have the schematic, alright uh, that's just, you know, you can do it without, but you're going to do a lot of head scratching and spend a lot more time, but anyways so the, so the VCO on this board here has uh, it's got a transistor on it that when it has uh, removed from circuit or no power is applied to it it allows 9.6 volts to go to the VCO to allow it to go to the high range, which essentially it bumps it up another 45 megahertz. So, in this case, the VCO on this is from a 800 megahertz radio that has talk around on it, and it'll allow you to um, it allow the radio to not only re transmit on 806 megahertz, which that's where they normally do, but also re also transmit on its receive area for simplex operation at 850. So, and that's what they make use of the, um, that's what they make use of the, of the uh, uh, 45 megahertz high option. Anyway, so I figured to myself in testing with some other VCOs and things, what would happen if I applied a higher VCO to the VCO tune pin, which on this particular one, the VCO tune pin is pin 3. So I'm applying 10.9 volts to all of the pins. The current is remaining under 100 milliamps, so that's cool. Uh, and that's what I'm getting. 900 megahertz. 908. So, I don't know what, uh, you know, that's definitely good for repeater outputs, I think. Um, or, I'm sorry, for repeater inputs, as well as some simplex operation. Uh, I'm aware that, uh, I don't know how far it'll go, but, uh, we shall see. Obviously, the radio is going to have to be significantly modified. I don't have one with the board here, but it's made for um, it's made for 850 megs, so it's not going to perform as well. But just for the fact that I can do this, or you can do this, 800 megahertz board, which is made to transmit and receive at 850, is able to generate at 908. And we can go a little higher. I don't want to burn it out. Look at that. So, 923. You know what? Let's just see what it does. 
What's it going to do, break? I don't care. Oh, look at that, 925. It's at 13.9 volts. And let's put it at 14.2. Uh, Man. 927, so that's 14.3 into that. And we'll just let it stabilize. That's probably too high. 14.6. Look at that, 929. So, with some tweaking and modifying, this thing will allow you to transmit and receive throughout the entire band. Obviously, you're going to have to do some serious work because if you have to throw 14 volts, which the max in the VCOs is about 15, um, uh, yeah, you have to do some serious work in order to get 14 volts out of something because not even the most power supplies put that out. So, I just think that's pretty cool. 929 megs. <laughs> awesome.